ladies and lurkers, boys and boomers, mashers of all ages, we are here, Combo Breaker 2023. I am C4IQ, joined by the main guy, Brad. How's it going, dude? It's going great, man. The main guy. That's too kind. That's that's too much <laughs> credit that for me. Your tag is your name. You are the main guy. That's true. I, I, I am indeed him, but only in this context and in no other context. Who you think you are, he is him. Yeah, I, I am him, but him is Brad. Uh, yeah, we're here hanging out at Combo Breaker 2023, hanging out on some Dragon Ball Fighters pools action. We're sunsetting a lot of stuff this weekend. This patch of Dragon Ball Fighters has become one of them. It is. It is. I am, uh, I'm sure the chat will be happy to maybe see a little less frequently the faces of the blue hairs. Sure. Well, and the lab coat. I like science. I'm a fan of science. So. Si science is cool. We're going to see, I think we'll still see some blue hair. It just, yeah. it, it might be different shades of blue. Mm -hmm. I know I know a lot of people were in particular like Blue Gita. I know yes. a lot of people were really liking the Blue Gita changes. Oh, uh, as a, I'm a Vegeta fanboy, 100%. I was looking and thinking, I like being the only Vegeta player. That um, is going to get washed away because, yeah. Yeah, like you said, he is really strong yeah. now. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you're about to be inundated in a sea of Blue yeah. Gita. This is probably the only time where I don't want my stonks to rise. And uh, yeah, I think the Vegeta stonks are definitely rising, like you said. But I think there's still a lot of experimentation with some of the other characters. Not Absolutely. everyone got buffed uh, or changed at all. I think 17 didn't get anything, uh, which is surprising. I'm happy because I also play 17. Don't touch that man. It's just an assist. I think 17 is really cool. I it's think super cool. And like, maybe it's an unpopular, maybe it will be an unpopular take, but I feel like there's only a few outliers in terms of like, crazy uh, strong characters here that I would have felt like, yeah, you know, tone them down. Yep. Um, and, and I think at, at least most of them got hit in some capacity, right? I mean, yes. maybe not maybe not in the way that many would have expected. The, mm -hmm. the meter change nerf is yep. uh, a, it's a little bit of a cudgel. It is. I, it's weird because I, I'm a very, I'm a dry player. I like SSJ for G, SSJ for G. I like dry play. And I think what they did is they addressed the problem with a very blunt tool. Yes, that is exactly what I mean. Yeah. So they kind of, you know, did what people wanted, yeah. uh, but in the way they did it, yeah. many people aren't liking it. But I think other than that, like you said, I think the game's fairly balanced. For a tag game, it's oh, extremely absolutely. balanced. Absolutely. And here we are. We are going to be able to jump into it unless, I think they had just button checked. So this should be the real thing. It would be such a curveball if they let the intros rock to do a button check. Oh my god, I would be <laughs> shook. Okay. Yes. Nope, it does look like it's the real thing. Pat Patusis versus Black Rose Baron, and Black Rose Baron has gotten the first hit here with the blue Goku has Patusis locked down in the corner. Damn, smoked by the command grab already. Definitely wasn't ready for that. Gets the knockdown, spins half a bar. Oh, he's gonna spin some meter in it as well. Not gonna be enough to kill, but this gets hit, the unrestrained will. There's the Dragon Rush. It's going to build a pretty decent chunk of meter here, but not going to catch a body. Yeah, okay, they do go for the active switch. They're going to choose to get the sliding knockdown off of this. Spending no bar on it. Oh, uh, that was interesting. I expected that they would maybe try to press a little bit more there. I'm a little surprised they waited as long as they did before they went in. <gasps> oh, that could be a deletion of your health bar. Yeah, medium starter. Could have been, but we want more games. We want more fighting. I respect it. Okay. Ooh. Interesting super dash with the uh, the four Gita here. Super dash extension gets a hard knock down. Oh no! I think I think didn't believe that. The, I think the assist there, the choice was to use it for lockdown and not necessarily to use it for the pickup. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that was a cheeky dragon rush. Didn't connect, but does amount the pressure afterwards. Don't know if they've got enough bar. Nah, just goes for the knockdown. Got assist at the ready, and this time does confirm yeah. the for GOA. Clean, nice stuff. Yeah, good, uh, good adaptation there to recognize. All right, they are pressing in this spot. I got to be a little bit more, uh, more available to pick up in that type of situation. You can see he's doing it again. The counter coming out from Patusis. Oh, oh, I like it. Anything you can do, I can do better. Mine doesn't even cost the bar, but Patusis was kind of ready for it. Just checking that the situation on the field goes for the Dragon Rush. That's the best way to beat a counter. Gets a level three. Doesn't get great Oki, but vanish straight back in the Ooh. face. And the shenanigans are hitting. Are they gonna have enough to kill here? Uh, so. They only had the one assist. Uh, they actually, they just got the bar, yeah. Oh, they didn't even need the bar. Okay, we stepped up. Definitely stepped up. Both players do have sparks though. 
and an elbow to the oh face no. at round start, but no confirm, Brad. That's, there's been a lot of that out of Black Rose Baron here, where they're calling that Vegito assist in exactly the right spot, mm -hmm. but then they're not ready for the pickup after. It's one of the best pickup assists that there are in the game. you got to be mindful for that, and especially yeah. with how often it's been happening, I'm definitely looking for Black Rose Baron to have that extra little bit of situational awareness on the screen and be ready to pick up in those spots. Opening up with EX Sassy Kicks off rip with the Vegito on point now. Smoke by the Super Dash this time, though, and Pat is not going to get the pickup off of the Vanish. Sparks it intact and wasn't blocking the toes. The crepes have been checked, but in comes the eternal rival. Gogeta versus Vegito. Spark. Oh, Baron whiffs, but no punish here. Oh my gosh, oh, this wow. could be a this could be a dead body. Uh, it actually might be medium starter, but no, we aren't ready with the right pickup. Please, 2H, thank you. Flash kick. Uses Guy will taught you well. Yep, that's all we need. <laughs> we had more damage on deck. We didn't need it. Uh, yeah, I. I think, uh, you know, a little bit loose play from the both yep. of them, as I think I'll characterize it. But I think from Black Rose Baron, I think the big thing is going to be, you know, you're calling the assists in the right spot. You're doing, like, your Lariat plus assist. Mm -hmm. And it's working. You're just... I, I don't know if we're not operating on the layer of expecting that the assist is going to connect mm -hmm. or if we just aren't ready for it because of that sort of looseness. I think that's really the adaptation to be seen from Black Rose Baron. Yeah, it's, you know, outside of the... Factors that we all know, and we always mention, especially on commentary when we're in an offline event, the lights, the crowd behind you, yeah, you know, the, you're, the stuff you've all heard before. It's really hard being up on stage, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But I think what you're saying as well, being their first match of the whole week, maybe a little bit nervous. And like you said, the assist, the assist calls were on point. And a lot of the patches that we've had from the beginning of the inception of Dragon Ball have been more hits done. Yeah. So you don't have to kind of second guess if the assist is going to hit. You can just do the assist, wait, look and adjust accordingly. Uh -huh. uh, and yeah, maybe just taking a seat back, uh, taking a second and waiting to see what's happening with your assist instead of thinking, oh, they're gonna block the assist, let me go for some mix behind it. Right. They get, then they get hit and you're like, oh, I could have confirmed, but I, you know, went a bit too gung-ho on the offense. Right. All right, we, uh, we did go back to character select here. I, uh, it looks like Patusis uh, at, at least changed the order, I think. Yeah, I don't think Gogeta was on point the first match. Yeah, because he, he came in last in the other one. Yeah. Uh, we see the four again on Baron's side. Blue Ku on point. That is still the same. Uh, yeah. UI in the middle this time. I think UI oh, was no. on point the last, last game. That was the same spot, too, where... Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think UI uh, was point in the last one. And that was uh, what I was going to say. Black Rose Baron missing the pickup once again. And the frame traps just working out there for Pat as Black Rose Baron tried to commit to, like, a 2H punish. Is Pat going to be able to close this one out into uh, the right kind of knockdown? I mean, of course we are. One of the best characters at using the uh, the tag switch to make opportunities for their, uh, their partners. For sure. Now, Baron taking them up to the skies, bringing them back down. Unrestrained Wilder, you can punish mm. that. Very smart. And this is a stark contrast to the first game. These players are definitely warmed up. Yeah, it's definitely gotten a little bit more comfy. We're just going to spend the one bar. Wanted to move forward. Wow. Busting out with the reversal there was Pat. And we do get the pickup off of the scramble in that situation. Able to push this all the way to the corner. Oh, we don't get the knockdown. We don't 2H the raw vanish either. Oh. That was a little bit tricky. The jump block on the Vanish was like, oh, I don't know whose turn it is. The frames were definitely in the Schrodinger's box. Uh, but he who dares wins. Striking first does get the combo and catches a body UI out of here. Baron forces to the corner, but we've got a happy birthday. One of the Saiyans gets out, though. That's a, that's a shame, too. It looked like Pat recognized they got the ha happy birthday, and then there was that extra split second of, like, what do I do with it? And it caused them to drop after when the situation did go away. We do have another opportunity here for Pat to try to finish his plate. Yeah. Keep it simple. Level one, get rid of the blue coup. He's been causing a ruckus at the start of the game. Wow, the 2M star, but didn't really get much off of it. Calls the assist just in case. Ooh. And the bus out. Show me a gap. Get those cheeks clapped. All right, and just smoked by the overhead. Black Rose Baron should be able to... I would think you have the damage on back here. No, we didn't get the pickup after. Spark comes out from Pat because they want to get the red life back. That's it. Carry the corpse to the corner. Brings in his bro. Level three? Yeah, why not? Probably spends a bar here for the vanish afterwards to take the corner. But has to watch out for Spark. 
No, just went for the overhead, the instant JS. Uh, finding the opportunity there with the JLs off the super dash. Are we going to be able to damage through the sparking healing? I should think so into the level three. More than likely. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Chunk. It was close. You had another bar for the follow-up after, and that's that's a that's a more front-loaded bit of damage rather than the continuous drip. So I imagine we were okay. Black Rose Baron on the back foot with just the Vegito now, but we do get the pick up. It's a shame it's an L starter. Oh, I thought maybe they thought they were closer to the corner, and now going for the DR. Pat manages to find the five L of his own. Yep. Brings in Gogeta. Stares down a little bit. I think too early, or maybe just the commitment to the up back was right here from Baron. Gets an opportunity to do another Vegeta combo. This time he does seem to complete it. Another level three. Big Bang Kamehameha. Again, are we going to spend the bar? We do. No, we want it for the mix-up. But we go for the JS mix. And Pat is busting out with their anti-air, but drops the combo. We've seen that in a couple of spots where they've not been able to get the pickup off of some of these wall bounces. We should be able to close it here. Yes, right into the level one. Kiss method, you said earlier. Keep it simple, indeed. Yes. Yes, yeah, smoochies. Keep it smoochies. And that's something that I think is not really thought about, especially when you're playing in pools. Because in pools, you can sometimes overestimate how good you are. And then being in the position where, oh, I really don't want to lose. I'm on stream. People are kind of expecting me to do well. That's when, you know, don't do the flashy stuff. Yeah. Get to the stage of the tournament where you can kind of let loose and express yourself. When you're here, the most important thing is that. No, absolutely. I, I had an interesting conversation with uh, a player back in the day where talking about like if you land the hit and you have a combo that you can do 70% of the time and it'll kill, yep. do you do it? And I think what right now the answer ought to be no. You want to play for stability. Tending towards stability is really important, especially in these more you know, uh, tumultuous situations mm -hmm. like early pools where you really don't have a firm grip on your surroundings. Black Rose Baron has a firm grip on his own surroundings, but unfortunately continues to not be able to pick up off of that Vegito assist. Nice extension. Chases the up, take with the assist. Oh, and again, that was what we were talking about earlier. Kind of second guessing going, mm, they're probably going to block this. Let me layer the mix up without confirming if I need to do it. Giving your opponent a lot of uh, props by doing that. But now I think Baron's kind of found their foot in. Just going ham and Desi mm. the will release me. Okay, having the control. Super Dash pick up now for Black Rose Baron. And once again, we keep missing the two M's off of Vanish. It's something about that height that I think both of them are messing it up when the Vanish is hitting at like jump height. You know what else is missing? A character. You mm. got hit by the second hit of the all combo. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, I mean, sure. <laughs> You spent the bar. Look, economically, that <laughs> reset worked out. In fact, it forced a bad meter investment out of your opponent. So that low key ended yeah. up an even better decision than just finishing your plate. <laughs> Going for the DHCs here, getting a clean 40% of blue life off of Black Rose Baron. So immediately switching in that Vegito to get four Gita a little bit healthier in the back. Spirit Sword, he's got three bars. There's one. Yep, he spends another one. The red and blue getting it done. I wonder whether Black Rose Baron could have structured that combo a little bit differently to spend the two bars with Vegito and get even more of the blue life back on Forgita. I think uh, Forgita is still healthy enough that it's probably not the biggest deal. And, true. you know, like, we, like we've been saying, you want to play towards stability. Mm -hmm. But, like, if he dies from this combo, that's going to be very telling. He won't, but, yeah. you know, you could be, like, 20% healthier than you are. Yeah, that's definitely something you have to take in mind, like you said. Maybe they fooled the... Four would have been a better matchup. I mean, they're going for Spark. That would have worked with either character. Let's see if there's any tech here. There's not. There's another body bag. Patusis is bringing it back with the UI. Spark already acted, though. Is it going to be an issue? Right. Black Rose Baron trying to take their time, going for that Super Dash, just as I said that. How far are we going to press this? The delayed 2H works out for them. Is Black Rose Baron going to be able to close the deal? They absolutely should, and indeed they do. The cheeky late cancel 2H on the block string. You know what? I would have got hit too. I I'm going to keep it a buck. I 1 million percent was like, what else does he have in the tank? I don't know why he stopped here. It's my turn. Oh, 2H. I'm dead. He withdrew everything out of his bank account and went, green, please. Just green. Yep. And that's what you need to do in those moments. Like you said, that would be the last moment where you think someone would do something so risky. Yeah. You wouldn't see it coming. I 
I didn't. I was I was literally doing the math in my head of like that's like Vegito is one of the best stagger characters in the game. Like going through the entire block string there and like the most you could have done was like L sassy kicks yeah. to like end it and just be like, all right, well my turn's over, but like I still have corner control and all this stuff. That was a very volatile decision to make. That was high risk, high reward. Exactly. Hugh Dares wins and yep, I mean that takes him through and win the side, right? It does. So yeah. uh, they're gonna look back and went, I made the right decision. And that's all that matters. The right decision is the decision that wins. Exactly. 100%. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think uh, Baron might want to, you know, I think normally the further you get in uh, your like tournament run, uh -huh. you kind of want to fall back on such risky stuff. Yeah. Because obviously your opponents are going to get stronger and stronger and really strong players don't need to kind of fight for opportunities to hit you. Yeah. They will just wait for you to overextend. Absolutely. So for pulls, that was perfectly fine. But yeah, the further you go, those two H's as a frame trap, which was cool. I liked it. It was really good for us. Uh, right. But yeah, I want to see you succeed and go through in the tournament. So, no, uh, abso yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and it's the kind of thing where, you know, the, your character, again, does have a bunch of other options to try to go for frame traps and stuff like that in a much more stable way. Yes. And that's why the, uh, uh, Vegito is a character that has been so strong for so much of this game, and that's why he got hit in the mm -hmm. patch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a... Uh, I, I remember when Vegito came out and it was like, oh, he's a meter hog, right? Like, season one, like, mm -hmm. when Vegito first came out as DLC, it's like, oh, man, like, if you don't play Gotenks Assist, you yep. need to spend bar for sliding knockdown. Like, oh, he's strong in the neutral game, but he's just a mid dispenser that burns meter, and, like, look at where he's ended up. It is, it is hilarious. As someone who, uh, obviously, I'm from the EU. So sure. When we had Wawa, yeah. smoking everyone with 5M, mm -hmm. and it was like, where's the mix? Why are you guys getting hit? And I was just sitting there going, you just wait. You wait and see. Maybe you can tell us why we're only getting hit by mids, because I don't know. It's because people want to hit buttons. You didn't spend all this money yep. to play a fighting game and block. Nobody's out here trying to do that. Nope. That's why that, That's why there's all these conversations about, like, oh, this game's too... Look at the damage. We don't see it for Dragon Ball, but we see it across other titles. of like, yep. ah, you know, the rounds are over too fast. we got to go three out of five, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like, mm. Everybody's just trying to hit their buttons. Everybody yep. wants to be the Twitter highlight. you got to block. Yep, there's, there's, and there's, only, a, there's a lot of blocking in this game. There's only one game that I know people spend money to block, and that's Tetris. And this is not Tetris. Ooh. There are no blocks here. No. No blocks. You don't win by blocking. Absolutely not. We do. It looks like we have Seth Sational versus Koala Bear. Unless that's Koala Bare. I Koala want it to be Bare. Koala Bare because that rolls off the tongue a little bit better. Yeah, I kind of like Koala Bare. Hey, Koala, if and when you watch this block back, if that's not already your name, you can have it. That's a gift from me to you. <laughs> free uh, branded advice. I didn't say free. Oh, okay, fair enough. Sorry. I will. Sorry. I will take licensing fit, like fees. <laughs> Royalties, yeah. I respect it. I respect it. Now you put it out there. <laughs> you need to get quick. Twitter, kick everything. Get your get that handle established. There we are. Somebody actually already sniped it. They're like, nah, screw yeah, you, Brad. Too slow. They're they, in there they, too quick. They they absolutely are. It's a, it's a, Wild, wild west out there. That's mm -hmm. that's that FiOS internet. That's how yeah. quick they pick all that stuff up. <laughs> Something that's not quick and has never been quick is button checks. But absolutely not. They need to be done. They need to be done. We're. Uh, it still feels like sometimes we're still locked in online, but there's been so much since like the pandemic. Yeah. Online tournaments have been almost the default, and they've kind of like balanced out with offline. I feel. I think before the pandemic. Offline was a default, and you'd have the occasional online right. a little bit more. But uh, now it is kind of a throwback to see people checking their buttons. It, it reminds me, like, oh, this is IRL. This is nice. Right. <laughs> see, maybe I'm a hater, but I feel like when you're in a button check mm -hmm. where you can hit the button and set it that way, whenever I see that and then people still go into the game and then test it, their buttons in around, it's like, you know, somebody, a developer spent time to give you a menu to do this, right? I, I'm kind of with you. I'm also, maybe I'm a grumpy old hater, but I'm like, yeah, look, you're, I don't know if they're like gaslighting us. <laughs> with like, oh, look how, you know, grown up I am. Look how reasonable and I'm taking precautions to make sure my buttons are right. And then like we saw in the last game, I'm just going to do two H as a frame trap. You right. know, they kind of, maybe it's for their opponent to throw them up look like, look, I am a, a fully grown man. Ooh. I, I've, got, I've got pills to pay. It's, it, we're planting the seeds of misinformation. Yes. Yes. It's like you go for the button check, you start doing some nutty stuff, 
and they're like, oh, look at that. Like, I don't got to worry about this guy. You plant the seeds of misinformation. We are doing a real button check here, it looks like. Yeah, see, that's what they're doing. They say, look, I'm a very accountable person. I take my mistakes, not with a grain of salt. I am very tough on myself when I do stuff incorrect, and then they're just going to go absolutely buck wild in match. It's, it's a good strap. It's a good strap. Now, what's funny is you're like, oh, you know, I'm a cautious person. I take care of myself. And it's like, all right, I'm a person who deals with anxiety. You would think that when I sit down, I'd be like, well, I better double check another time. Like, I'm the guy. Hey, Internet, this is about to be real relatable. I'm the guy that you leave and I pull out of the driveway. And as I'm about to turn to leave, I'm like, did I lock the door? Like, that's I'm that guy. <laughs> like, the did I leave the stove on intrusive yep. thought? Like, that's me. So why in the world am I the one that is like, no, don't go into the rounds yep. to button check. Do it in the lobby. I have never once at a tournament, sat down and been like, wait, hold on, let's do the extra button check. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I need to look at as a therapeutic thing of like, this is how I get past my uh, my anxiety, treat everything like button check. I, I'm with you, I'm with <laughs> you, I'm with you. I, I want to think that I'm uh, literate enough to see light punch and the button corresponding that I know does that and go into a match. But... I'm not in the tournament. Maybe that's why I'm not a good player. Maybe that's why we're here on comms. Because we don't <laughs> have to actually commentate. Uh, no, we don't have to commentate. Maybe we don't have to do button checks. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe that's what it is. That's, you know, I woke up one day and I was like, you know what, I'm so tired of this. And then I sat down and I was like, instead I'll fill the air and make it interesting for yes. other people. Here we are loading in once again. Seth Sational versus, I'm going to say, Koala Bare. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Put some culture in his name. All right. Sensational, all oh, big whiffs. During damage. Oh, I, I really like this character. As I said, I like really dry, uninteresting crackers with no butter stuff. This character is just damage, and I love it. He absolutely is. I mean, even the visual design of Jiren is, you know, dry. He's a big gray blob, but he's out here smoking you. Koala Bari has the switch in to the Master Roshi. Should be able to close this one out. Who didn't want to spend the bar? That is a little greedy, I think. Could come back to bite. Oh, interesting way to tag off. That might actually be safe where they're still in blocks done. Goes for the reflect. But the 2M connects, and that was a really sick confirm. I'm going to give the UK spin on the name just to let you know. I might go for Koala Bear. Oh, you know what? I'm here for it. <laughs> we're, we're, giving them, we're giving them options. Yes. They can yes. workshop them at home. This is a focus group. It's really important for, for branding. you got to identify what. <laughs> Lab coat assist coming out, getting the big pickup. But sensational. Oh, no. There's a lot of these errant hits that they're just unfortunately not really in the position to pick up on. Damn, from downtown? Wow. That was a, a bonk on main. Him with a stick on the noggin. I think he's going to catch a body here. Might have to spend one more bar. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. We put lab coat on point. We just have trunks and uh, evil dad in the back. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I feel like I'm not used to seeing Trunks as much. Like, this is the second or third Trunks that I've seen today, and I find that a little bit surprising. As strength, I think he's always had that kind of aspect. It's like, oh, yeah, Trunks can do all these cool stuff. He can do damage, but there's characters that do it easier. Yes. Some characters, their level 3 just won't whip like that, right? Because it's a, it's, it's a grab. So I think you can do... The outcome, the same with Trunks, but it's just easy with other guys. No, absolutely. I mean, like, he has, especially in Spark, or if you can get the uh, EX Flip mix-ups, like, he has some crazy stuff. But I think you're absolutely right. The skill floor to make Trunks work is disproportionately high. Yep. And I think there's only a few people that have ever really spent the time to try to establish that. Damn, ready with the 2H as Koala Bari tries to hard tag in the Roshi. And we do have, oh, nope, I cursed it. I was about to give sensational credit for having the loops. And then they dropped the loops. Oh, but he's got sensational neutral right now. Does get the confirm. Three bar should be enough if he wants to spend it. Yep, Gallic gun. Burning tax, shining slap. Oh, yeah, this actually does uh, more damage. Yeah. Sensational damage calculation there. Yes. <laughs> Understood. They had the proof. They did the math. Yes. I love calculators as a... A weapon of choice when we're playing. Yeah, Sensational has been a little bit too uh, willing to bust out the Shining Slash as like a high mix-up option. And Koala Bear definitely ready for that. The little air pickup. Okay, we EX flip out. Oh, you, you definitely could have got a whiff punish off that slide. We got Beam into Vanish. I think we might have enough. Oh, if oh. we spark, we absolutely have enough. If you're going to spark, you need to pick up the combo. <laughs> that was to, uh, you know, present his dominance. 
I could have taken your life, but I'm just going to spark and show you my red sparks. Oh, but you know what? Now he's going to show him a coffee, and here we go, Durin. The alien is here. Grabbed by the scruff of the neck. The extension. Ooh. Sensational offered up base Jita yes. to their opponent there. The hard tag there. I mean, if the hard tag had gotten anti aired that would have been that. And now, okay, we have the reflect into the 2M start here. We have a fair bit of bar now on the side of Trunks, right into the level three. Uh, it's, with, with limit break, maybe this is, no. No, and won't get the 50-50 with a flip, oh. but he's gonna get a sensational burst bait. It's gonna get worse, chat. As long as his name is on the screen, I'm gonna come up with all the sensational puns I can. Sorry, I'm sorry. All right, we're just floating now. Sensational does not want to touch the ground. The floor is lava. Floating around up there, managing to secure that first game. Again, I think a, a little loose. I I think there were some bigger picture decisions, like the way that they were choosing a hard tag, um, some mm. of that stuff. And the will, the reliance on Shining Slash overhead, yep. I think, was starting to get called out. But ultimately, they did manage to make that work off the strength of their neutral game. Mm -hmm. Rocket Kick into Broly Seasons. I think that's the first time we've seen it this set. We didn't see much of appearance from him in the game prior. Yeah, nice. I, I think in game one, uh, S. Broly managed to come out on point fairly quick. Yeah. Uh, so we saw him on point more until he died. This time we're not dropping our loops. You are absolutely dead for 1-1-1 one, one, one here. If we even need all three, Burning Attack does a chunk. We do need all three. There we go. The anti-Goku Saiyan team. Warms my heart as a, as a Goku hater. Ooh. All right, basically it does get out. Nice, using the ground slam to uh, kind of clear the screen. The 21 assist had to uh, retreat there quickly. A razor blow, jump S, another oh. razor blow. That was nice. I like that sniping out the attempts at uh, screen control that were coming out from the Rochi there on the side of Kualabara. And now we have the pick up here for Sensational, who is looking so much stronger this round. I think they really came alive. That is a blue beat combo, unfortunately. But you know what? We take the damage. We do get the pick up off of the Spark. So now Kualabara going to be stuck at level two Spark and getting very little for it. Sensational space in there to make this, this Spark with. Like, that's really hard to do. We saw it earlier when... Uh, Trunks did it, right, with a backdash. But just, you know, the micro walk backwards was perfect. Maybe anticipating the jump pad. Goes for the Atmia grab. Reflect. Oh, a little late on the pickup. But you can see Sensational is really comfortable using Destructo Disc and Change the Future Assists to just sort of cover his approach. Catch a little bit of that up forward angle as well. Jesus! Oh my gosh! That was violent! I know we don't like lab coat. <laughs> Yo, that was, yeah, that was pure aggression. We might actually get, this is so rare. This is shiny Charizard territory. Are we going to get it? Are we going to be able to say the words in Dragon Ball Fighters? I'm ready for it. One, one. That's 100%. Let's say it together. It was. The ghetto perfect? Yeah. The ghetto perfect. I thought it was a real I'm perfect. I'm disappointed. I am as well. I was like, when, when the set get touched? I. I actually, like, maybe there was Chip at one point that they recovered, or, like, one of the characters in the back as an assist got clipped. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I missed it, too. <sighs> I, I feel like we were robbed. I, yeah, I'm sorry, chat and, and Brad. I was, I was really getting hyped thinking it was a legit perfect, but we got to get one, which is still good, because Seth definitely went super, super ham. That Kamar grab? Oh, that was great. I got jump scared. Yeah, and I, I love the, again, just the, they did a really good job of using the assists that they had. It, and like every assist they were using had that slight up forward angle, mm -hmm. which was really good at covering like that jump height and either catching people in that spot, giving them the extension, or if they block it, pulling them back down so that they could do the, the ground based mix up. I think it was just a really effective utilization of all the tools that they had. And I'm a little disappointed that I'm so deflated that it wasn't a real perfect. I should be happy for that performance. And I'm like, ah, damn, wanted to see it. Yeah, yeah. I do think that we are going to be seeing an ad break is what I am seeing from the mothership. So we will be back with more Dragon Ball Fighters action in just a short while. Keep it locked and loaded here for Combo Breaker 2023. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still here, man? You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Yeah, we've been looking for you everywhere. They don't handle the ads. Let's go see the rest of Chicago.
Y'all make sure to head over to the Combo Breaker shop right now and check out all the amazing merch from shirts to hats and more in store. Get it today. Welcome back, y'all. We are here with more Dragon Ball Fighters pool play coming at you from Combo Breaker 2023. I am Brad Muse. Joining me is C4IQ himself. Uh, rounding through more of this bracket, and we have our players sitting down already raring to go. Sinister Embrace versus Tall Cat. We were saying this off camera. That name actually said that, a shiver that, down that my is, fire. That is a great name. Sinister Embrace on here about to make some unholy confessions on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you've got someone called like, I feel we need justice. I feel like I need like a soundboard because I need something like Sinister Embrace versus Tall Cat. <laughs> like, they're such polarizing names. They really are. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, it's like a, it's like a weird clash of tones. Yeah. I who, mm, do they look like a Sinister Embrace? I don't know what a Sinister Embrace looks like. I can see it. I, I think I can see it. I think Sinister Embrace is on the left hand side, right? That's, so that's what I, and this is maybe a little unfair because I'm inclined to think so too, but they are written for us as the first name, which would imply the P1 side. With the Venom mask also makes a lot of sense. That's true. Wait a minute. So that means Tall Cat is out here rocking that mane of hair right now, looking like Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's kind of like they've cosplayed their names. I, yeah. I kind of like it. You know what? If he stands up from that chair when this is over and is not tall, oh. I'm going to be a little upset. That could throw you off, yeah. Cameras definitely don't uh, portray height very well. They do not. Down. No. Yeah, no, they don't. No, there's a lot of what, you, production trick. Uh, we adjust the heights of the chairs when we sit down so that we look like we're the yep. same height. And none of you, a lot of you were not going to know whether that's a joke or not. You get to ponder <laughs> that later as we load in here for the next match of Dragon Ball Fighters Pool Play. Oh, you're a happy man now, aren't you? This is SSJ for GR. We're not on the patch. This, I'm so happy. This eight hour flight was so worth it. Oh no, don't kill him, mm. Why'd you say it? Don't, don't embrace him, please. Sinister, don't embrace that SSJ for GR. He's a prince. He's, he's waking the fallen right now. <laughs> I, I have more. <laughs> nice pickup, but we don't have the super dash available. Tall cat, just rocket kick. Wow. I like how it hits. No way! Mix. Brad, mix. We don't ask questions. Ooh, it's okay, it happens. Oh, in comes Broly. Don't worry, Broly is not Goku. Broly has the sinister embrace. That's that's Rude. definitely the source of the name. We've got the pickup off the Dodon Ray. No, the Super Dash does not connect, and we do not have the anti-air for the Majin 21 coming in. Tall Cat gets another chance to play. These guys are swinging wildly right now. Yeah, those first matches, I'm telling you, everyone definitely Nets out there like inner beast. It goes totally ham. Gets a level three here. Gonna have the quarter position, which is good. No steals though. Oh wow, just backs off, uses the C assist, the no mix up mix up, but Sinister Embrace still got caught out by it. Tall Cat's gonna be able to close that one out without spending any bar, now having the character advantage. Labco coming back in for Sinister Embrace. Five S, catches with the vanish, laser beam. Super Dash. Oh teal. my god. Yeah, everyone can catch these heels. These the letters have everyone's name on it, apparently. Ooh. Okay. The overhead from nowhere. The laser beam enders. Yeah, but not uh, between not having the assist in the back and not having the bar, mm -hmm. it didn't work out that great for Sinister Embrace. And I feel like Sinister Embrace is the way that they're getting the hits is forcing them to commit these resources earlier to like capitalize off of it. Yeah. And it's putting them on the back foot because they're not able to make the most of these other situations. Tall Cat finds the level three. The no mix up, mix up again. Gotta be ready. Oh, damn, I did not see a TN on the team. So Technically, the match has just started. I wanted to make a joke about, oh, it's going to be a tall order oh. to beat tall cat. But yeah, this is TN. He can absolutely eradicate life bars. Did Ooh. not want to commit the bar there, I guess. Finds the 2H tall cat, please. Just keep a character in the game. You can play some neutral. Oh, Getting rid of the blue life. I don't know that that was necessary. Raw super. Help me, Brad. 
Oh, I love that. The delay JL there looking great. And now, off of that switch, Super Saiyan Vegeta's also should die in one. Yes, the pickup on the 2H. You should not have committed in quite that way. Lab Coat coming in, but a healthy Lab Coat with Spark still available and the meter advantage. Oh, okay. Good block. Nice challenge, uh, but the confirm wasn't there. No! Telekinesis. Vanish off the yes, a little bit too late. Doesn't get a wall back. Oh my I, god! I don't think Sinistar has missed the 2H. I think they've all hit with TN. They absolutely have. You were, if you were a little bit farther away, that was going to punish the spark. Tallcat committed something! I don't know what it was, but it was, it was, a, it was a mistake. Well, someone embraced their level three. I, I want to say the situation was they, I think they, they could run an ETA to make a whip, but that level three tracks. So you, yeah, you can't make a whip. I think you can make the level one whip, but the level three, that's going to get you. Yes, Brad, I wish the camera wasn't you because there was no words to explain what just happened, only hand signs. <laughs> We're looking like a trunk super right now. I, I'm just, okay, Tallcat going for the switch. We wanted to reset some momentum. Finally, the pizza cutter is coming out from Sinister Embrace. It is a, a match with two lab goats, and it is only in game two we're seeing the pizza cutter for the first time. They're prepping for the patch. That's what it is. Long sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can give that to them. <laughs> Question mark, but maybe. No, you, you know, <laughs> we, we dictate the story, C4. That's what it is. True. Having the pick up, we're waiting, keeping this pressure a little bit tighter, clipped by the extra low, but Tallcat was not prepared to finish their plate. Sinister Embrace gonna be spending that bar. Oh, wow. Has the lockdown of the corner, wanted the pick up really desperately. And once again, just like in the last game, having a lot of these spots where they're committing to spending the bar really early, and that's also now the second time they've gone for like, okay. Uh so with that button check, we should have paid more attention because I really do think Sinister's 2H is working correctly. Because that button has been running rampant. Wait, this root? I, I'm surprised all of that worked. I thought there was another H. Only H starters. All right. Uh. Nice. Get the sliding knockdown. We were a little bit early on the meaty, but we get the super dash. Pick up both characters. We only get a little bit of damage there on the lab coat. Likely going to be healed back up. Sinister Embrace having the character lead. Once lab coat in for the matchup, gets 2 M'd for their trouble. Tallcat has so much resources here. Please finish your plate. Let's go, Vegeta. Yes. Big Bang. Final mm. flash. Okay. You know what? To be fair, that was a smart option. I wasn't too sure. Hence the inflection on my Big Bang, because I wasn't sure, but you know what? If you've got the money, spend it. You might not get another chance. You still have Spark, and you can use that money to get on the board of the train. Choo-choo. All right, 5H, nothing really comes after it. Tallcat trying to play some neutral now. How far are they going to press this? Okay, just going for Key Blast. Resetting back. Oh, uh, okay. That was... That was an interaction that happened on the screen. Yes. Yeah. I, I think Sinister Embrace has sort of realized that, yeah, okay, I can play this out by just being ready to smoke the Super Dash. And so it doesn't even really matter that Sinister Embrace keeps going for that combo route where they're trying to like 2H Super Dash after TN Assist and it's not working. Mm -hmm. But they're just winning out in the neutral so much by way of blowing up Tallcat's decision making that it doesn't matter how much Sinister Embrace is leaving on the table with their starters. Absolutely. Oh, interesting route. I like it. I'm not. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Level three. Holding to the spark. Are you going to bait the spark, though, Toolcat? That is the question. Uh, you know what? I don't want him to bait it. I just, just please play layer one. Uh. uh oh my God. You could have whiff punished the two. <laughs> okay. I'm. Whoa. I feel like I'm, I'm hovering on this a little more than I would like to. Oh my God! Finding the auto combo command grab mix. We don't have the meter in the back to make this happen anymore. Jesus! Hitting like a freight train. That is indeed the sinister embrace. But clipped by the low tall cat. Still has spark left on the lab goat and resources. But the TN made it work for sinister embrace last game in a much healthier spot. Ex pizza cutter. Madness. Oh, Maja Head, good blocks, adaptation for the last time, 2H, doesn't try to challenge the Super Dash afterwards, and the relentless pressure from Sinister Embrace does take the win, TN clutching it out. 
I don't know about everyone else, but I like commentating pools. <laughs> I love commentating pools. It's always fun, right? And w one thing that one thing that I like to do is I know there's people that come back and they like to study the tapes. Yeah, right? true, true. So, you know, for players that come down and play in pools, I, I feel like it's valuable to be able to highlight, hey, okay, okay, like, here's some of the stuff that you can try to do different. And I think for Tallcat, it's like, hey, be willing to play some neutral, stop mm -hmm. super dashing all the time. Like, you, there were spots there where it was looking pretty okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then for Sinister Embrace, it's just, I think, I think they played that fine. Mm. I think the fact that they were getting all of those hits and then leaving so much on the table because of going for either combos that didn't work or uh, very suboptimal combos that were leaving them at a massive meter deficit, yes. I think they could have had a much tighter game if they felt more comfortable with how to capitalize on the hits that they were getting. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that, like, in, in a few matches later in pools, that type of detail is going to matter more than earlier on in pools. Yep. But that's something that's easy to, you know, just sit in the lab, play with your team, and get tighter on it. Yeah, like, like you said, that can be rectified overnight. If they, if they get through and have to play tomorrow, yeah. they can adapt on that. And you made, like, good points about, you know, the two hate routes that they were doing. Obviously, you want to use it once for the, uh, the smash effect. Yeah. The second one, I mean, in that match, even though they won, Sinister can look back and go, okay, if I play a player that knows how to count another Super Dash right. in the air, I'm going to be in trouble. So, like you said, even the winners from games this early in your pools, you can go back and go, okay, you know what? Let me make my wins a little bit more convincing because that will help me later on in the tournament run. So, yeah, 100% yeah. agree. Absolutely. We have our next players sitting down here. The Joker Knot. Not just Joker Knot. The Joker Knot versus Lofen. Lofen? I, lo I love both those names. I actually love I am a massive Marvel nerd. So, The Joker Knot. Definitely tickles me a little bit. And uh, Lofin, I wanted to say low fire, but that's definitely not where it is. Mm. Nah. Lofin. Lofin around. We're going to have to see uh, what, what characters they pick. Maybe they're uh, maybe when they're not playing Dragon Ball or coming out to Combo Breaker, which if you've not come out to before, you definitely should because it's a spectacular event. We're all having a whole lot of fun here. But maybe when they're not doing that, they play uh, slacking in like a Pokemon uh, game somewhere. Lofin around. Mm. Maybe mm. They're, they're a slacking main. He's the one that loafs, right? Yeah, he is. 100%. Oh, I, I said it with so much confidence. If you don't know, I love Pokemon. So, yeah. I okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah slacking the... You don't see much in VGC, but the card game is not too bad. It's not too oh. bad the card game. Yeah, okay, yeah. we are locked on the camera right now. Yikes. You staring into my soul? Oh, wow. my God. You're staring into my soul. Can he hear you? Wait. Oh. I don't know if he can. Wait. Hold on. If you can hear me, blink. Okay, can't hear us. I, Thank goodness. Oh, well, now I'm really unnerved that he's not blinking. <laughs> Please blink. I was like, no, no, for this, no for science, <laughs> just blink. Humans need, need to do this. Blink if you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> your, your eyes need to hydrate themselves. <laughs> They're going to dry out. It's going to make the light bad. How are you going to react to a Super Dash if your eyes are dry? I mean, 100% right. Unless it's a UI main and it's nothingness. Well, well, sure. Yeah, they, they, we'll see. Maybe we'll see that's it. Bit. The path of nothing. The path of nothingness. That could be a character that we, you know, I think... Prior to the, the fusion arc, uh, you did see quite a lot of UI. Yeah. Even though he got, you know, I'll say normalized. Yeah, the UI UIA was a problem on launch. Yes. Um, I, I think it's interesting, like, coming from a Marvel background mm -hmm. and looking at the ways that this game has sort of touched against, like, oh, this is sort of reminiscent of this at Marvel. Yes. And I think the, the heyday of, like, UIA and Roshi B, it was B was the, the armor assist, right? Yep, 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 uh, yep. Roshi B was very much like, oh, okay, like, you know, vanilla Marvel 3 or, like, Marvel 2, where invincible assist as a defensive call was sort of the meta yep. if for Windows of Time in that game. And we kind of beat up against that for a window of time here. Um, and, you know, it was, it was a time long ago... <laughs> It does feel like it was <sighs> three fusion dances ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's just, it's, a, it's a dance floor. That's what the D stands for in DBFC. At <laughs> dance floor. It's a lot of dancing. <laughs> dance floor ball fighter Z. Dance floor. Dance floor fighters. Oh yeah. I forgot. I meant to be saying Z to represent the UK. Oh sure. Yeah. It's a bit late now. I've already said Z. I'll start from now. Start from now. We're gonna go with We're Zed. only a quarter of the way through the block. You can still seventy-five percent of the block. You'll be saying Z. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll do it for fifteen minutes. Thank you. And, and that way, we'll make up for lost time as we <laughs> load in here. Joker not versus Lofen. Oh, the cursed super dash catches out Lofen on the two M. We get another pickup in the back here. Even smoking through the adult Gohan assist that was trying to come out to keep him safe. Nice reflect, but no, my two M's better. Yeah, snipe them. Just out a torpedo kick from Gogeta. Freeze out with the extension. Nice. 
grab. Couldn't get free balls there. Doesn't oh, need it. You get two better. characters. Yeah, two characters are better than free balls. You know, sometimes you make the gamble, you bet on red, it comes up red. So you love when it happens. Unfortunately, air throw whiffs there from Joker not, and now you see Lofin is using that adult Gohan pressure. Yeah, gets opened up by the double overhead. Oh, we're leveling up. Level three, in comes UI. We did speak about that character. Let's see if he is gonna embrace nothingness. Flow like water. Got five bars, level three potentially. No, holds onto the meter. Mm, and manages to connect the overhead there. So the meter gamble paying off. So now sitting close to seven bars, you definitely should have enough to kill off this character with like a one, one, three. Yeah. Going into the Frieza level three, leaving Frieza on point for the matchup against Janemba. Did you see, I don't recall which assist uh, was gonna be on UI from Joker or not. I would assume B, there it is. Yeah. All the plasma. Perfect for a freezer game plan, right? Being able to uh, capitalize on the full screen stuff. And then when they need to go for mix, there you go, gets the overhead. Papa John's, nice. Right. We're baiting the spark? No, we're going for the level three. Uh, we'll have to see if we're baiting the spark. No, it looks like we just go for the overhead. No, we didn't believe enough, so we gave Lofen another opportunity. But we are chucking some plasma. Is Lofen going to be able to make anything happen with this spark? No, now they have to hold that on the back foot. Full screen, dealing with the zoning game. Joker not actually trying to move in behind that, blocking one more time. Clipped by another overhead, but unfortunately, Lofen has not been in the position to capitalize until this hit now. Going to be good damage. Going to go for the level three. Gonna kill a little bit of time on the spark, unfortunately, but need to mount this comeback, and there we go, IAD. Didn't need to go for any teleport shenanigans. Still has, you know, reasonable amount of bar, just under three, but needs to get it hit real quick. Okay, still managed to empty vanish there, so we're not as locked out as it could be. Nice reflect, we unfortunately commit to the double reflect, so we don't get a punish that we might have otherwise gotten. Find the punish! Okay, 5LL connects off of the vanish there. We went to set up the ball. Now we have a mix up in the back. Okay, Ooh. clip with the low! The 2M from nowhere. Three bars. That's a brown bread. He's dead. We've got a game. Zed. Zed! No! You're more UK than I am. I can't believe it. I can't be representing UK more than you right now. Oh, no. I'm in shambles right now. I need a moment. Sorry, Brad. Sorry, UK. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, unfortunately, Lofen had, had, that was almost a really sick comeback from Logan, but, uh, yeah. Lofen, but Joker not was able to uh, turn back on that one. If, if he looks at the camera and stares at my soul again. Please, bro. My, my body's not ready. Okay. okay, he's focused. They're focused. Super dash, round start. That is aggressive. That's very much more suiting to the name The Joker Null yes. than the Frieza full screen play. Well, I think the Frieza full screen play Seems like a matchup choice, maybe? Because you could have done that in whichever order you wanted to end up with either uh, Lab Coat or Frieza on point after. So I think the decision there was like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to bother scrapping it up with Janemba. I'll just lock it down full screen. This lockdown from Lofen looking really good right now. Unfortunately, they've cornered themselves. No! Joker, okay, you found the hit. That's fine. Oh, but doesn't find the combo. Gets a 6M. The overhead does connect. Should be enough. If they're willing to spend the bar, which they are question mark? Uh yeah, two one one. I think that I think that this should do it. Yeah. My rule of thumb, if your health is at the sparking indicator, yep. you can die to the three ones. Yes, yeah, I know that's the fact for uh, level three, if you're at the spark. But with level ones, it does oh, like make a sense. one one one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That actually does make more sense than just the level three. Alright. Are we going to spend any bar here? If you get it, oh, they do get the bar. I reckon they're holding to it. Yeah, it makes sense. Push the body to the corner. Couldn't get the confirm. Oh my God. That 5L putting in overtime as an anti-air in that spot. But Joker not seeming really comfortable trying to just lock the screen down uh, and exert their control. Unfortunately, Lofen here finds the pickup, but not getting the combo off of Janemba. 5M connects to smoke the super dash. We don't get anything for it. Man on the pressure. Reflect. 5H. Mm. Freezer. Not a fan of you sayings. Gets the extension. Drops it. Sparks up. No levels, though. Oh, I, my God. Maybe they thought they had levels? Maybe they thought they did. I, I don't really know. I think it has been a... Uh, we are fairly far into the set uh, with 
Gohan on point to have mm -hmm. not ended up with a level at that point. So True. I could see making that mistake. Yeah. But we saw Lofin's Janemba doing work in the last game as well. And you're sitting on plenty of resources. But if you're getting smoked up in that ground star position there, and Joker not equipped in the position here to try to make something happen, taking a bite out of crime. The Munchies gets all of those alien abilities. Wow! Wow, he... Lofin was fighting some inner demons there. He did 2L, 2L vanish. He was definitely trying to hit someone. Jo the Joker Nault wasn't there, though. Could jump over, but... Oh, I think believed there was either... I think in that spot, Joker Nault had gone for command grab once or twice. So I imagine Lofin was maybe either trying to hit with, like, 5L or up back out and got smoked by the EX fireball. Uh, Joker Nault just got the third bar. So that should be enough to do it and earn them moving forward. 2-0 over Lofen. Good stuff. It's nice to see a Frieza on screen. Always, always cool to see Frieza. I, I mean, especially, I thought Frieza was so cool at uh, launch, and yeah. I, I feel like it's taken a while for Frieza to really come online. Yes. Uh, but it's, it's really refreshing to see more of them. There is a fair, like, outside of the, the sort of top three, top four mm -hmm. problem of, like, fusions of lab coat. Yeah. I feel like there's a, a fair degree of representation over the lifespan of this game. I can see that. I can see that. It's definitely going to be a lot depending on the community, right? Sure. But I think the groundwork is there. I think the potential yeah. is definitely there. Uh, it has the kind of good middle ground in terms of you can pick any character. Yes. But to master them, that's going to, you know, take a while. Where you have other team games where it's like, even to grasp the bare minimum of a character, you need to go on YouTube and find a PhD sure. format to go figure them out. Yeah, and I think Freezer's got that middle ground because it's like, yeah, you can do the normal B&Bs, but then you've got the corner stuff with the right, pizza the cutters, uh, golden Freezer as yeah, well. Yeah, a whole so. other thing, right? There's that, there's that extra degree of, like, you can really break the character open mm -hmm. and utilize every tool that they have in a way that's uh, super interesting. Yeah. Also, what is super interesting is these ads that are coming to you. Go get the stuff on the ads. So we look good. <laughs> Buy the stuff that are there. Or download it, whatever it is. Go get that, <laughs> get a snack as well, and then come back and then we'll try and I will try and be a better commentator and catch up to Brad. Because that is definitely not how you end a section. <laughs> but here you go, ads. Roll it. You thought that was fire? We're not done yet. Because after this break, more combo breaker action is coming right to you. Don't go nowhere. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay because that merch is going to go quick. Brad, I heard you like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. There we are. You, you were, I, as soon as you started saying it, I was like, are you going to represent this time? <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed, I do like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yes, I also like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Damn, I messed up again. My commentary was in shambles on, right man. now. You know he's not going to mess up because I have pure faith in this person. We have one of the players from my neck of the woods. Uh -huh. We have Flash number seven from France. He is not just a player. He's a TO. He's a commentator. Okay. I've seen him working behind the scenes at all the events. Okay. I hope that he's been practicing. Oh. We've, he plays so many games. He plays this, Guilty Gear, all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, but I know, I've known him from this, and his team's really cool. So. Okay, and what team does he play? He... He did play Blue Jeter. Oh. But because of the patch, maybe he's going to think, you know what, I'll play him then. I see. Hopefully he plays him now, and he plays 17. Okay. So characters I can get behind. All right, well, they're sitting down to play against Lucky Star. Button check had happened during the ad break, so we're going to be able to jump right into the action as soon as the players are ready. Yeah, wave to the camera. Yeah. Say hi to the homies. This is your moment. Or you know what? Say hi to you later watching the tapes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. that is, that's an eye of a T.O. Can you see it? You can s the almost... The eye of a T.O.? <laughs> they are the... Yeah, he's looking around saying, I'm going to have to show these guys. You want me to put your name in brackets. You don't want me to be in a bracket. That's what he's saying. I. You said the eye of the T.O. I thought it was going to be like, somebody's going to have to clean that up later. <laughs> he will be the guy when he walks away, like desinking and picking up your bottle yeah. of water if you leave it in the desk. That's yeah. exactly what I mean. <laughs> he will do that as well. <laughs> like you step behind the curtain once you come back it's like your world changes mm -hmm. it is it is gonna be the blue jita it looks like Ooh. blue jita piccolo lab coat 21 yeah. you, you know what he's picked the higher number so instead of 17 he's gone 21 i 100 like the maths it makes perfect the math sense. checks out it, it does 
numbers don't lie. They don't. You know what? In fact, it's the only rules that govern these games, right? Like, <laughs> frame data is not a social construct. Frame data is facts. What we do with it is a social construct. But math is math. Damn. That, oh, I wish I had my, my notebook. That is something I need to write down. That is very profound. Right. All right. I know you French players are in the chat. Give Flash your energy. N-S-X-E. U-I-U Flash. He's got more Ooh. acronyms than his numbers on this hit, on this combo. Let's go. I loved that mix up there, using the threat generated from the second Piccolo orb to earn them the space to find that DR, giving them the life lead, but unfortunately commits to the Key Blast in the air at just the wrong time. Lucky Star had committed with the Super Dash. Trying to, for the chase down, Vegito covers him, and Flash gets caught out again. Labco gets the, oh, not gonna go for the knockdown of the corner. We have more extension. Yeah, squeeze as much damage as possible. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Avoids the grab with that spark. Good block, two hate. Oh no, that's the second hit for all combo. Brad! Spark might, yeah, Spark will keep him alive. Hopefully, please. Uh, no, we have three bars and the life is low enough. I think a 1-1-1 one, one, one here will kill, especially Vegito and TN have such strong level ones. Why does the commentator curse not, not work in reverse? Why? Because <laughs> then it would be the commentator blessing. Why is that not a thing? Is that, should we try it? Should I if, try it? If you had been saying Zed the whole show, maybe it would have worked. The EU right. power is dwindling right now. You're right. I squandered the energy that we did have from the EU by saying the cursed letter. Yeah, nice 5L mash there from Flash to try to lock this one down. EX, uh, Demon Elbow managed to make this whiff. Just to throw one out the hell zone, I think maybe wanting to lock down the screen, earn themselves the opportunity to make something happen. <gasps> no, that was cursed as hell. 2L whips. Lucky Stars doesn't. Lucky Stars were counted. Absolutely counted. That was, like you said, super cursed. And it was really smart for Flash to go for the Hell Zone in neutral because that now seemed really random. But at that moment, Lucky Star didn't have a bar to vanish. To no, of course. So it was a really smart way to lock him down. But you are getting rewarded with a toe tag. Peace out, Piccolo. Right, and just like that, Flash is on the back foot. Nothing but 21 available for them and smoked out by the Vegito assist. It has been doing so much work in this block. 21, Vanish keep him in the corner, makes perfect sense. Yeah, just keeping the knockdown, double reflect, but Lucky Star was ready to end that that block string into the fireballs as part of the bait on the reflect. Now they got the pick up. The damage scaling a little rough for them here, but this is looking like a one touch situation for Lucky Star, depending on the pick up. Dota Ray keeps him safe, we find the overhead. Yeah, and I think Lucky Star's gonna finish this combo. Damn. I tried. I tried front. Commentator goes into work. I tried it. I I can't imagine specifically structuring your commentary <laughs> to try to you can't invoke the commentary curse. It's not how it works. Oh, is, is it's only... like it's like you it's like opening your own fortune cookie that you chose. Like that's not how it works. Uh... You can't invite the energy into your life. It's something that happens to you. Right, okay. That sounds like a really, really bad superpower. It's like one of those powers, like, yeah, I can turn invisible when no one's looking. It's like right. one of those powers. It's no, like... it's exactly like that power. The <laughs> second someone's looking at you, I mean, the trick is you turn invisible when they can't see you, and then you're already invisible, so they can never see you. Ah. Uh, uh, mm. Wow, that speaks to my life in ways you would not understand. And he didn't want to speak to his life, so he goes for the spark. He wants to talk to you. There we go, Flash No. Fights back. 50% easy here. That is a nice early lead. Going for the sparking bait. We don't get the punish necessarily, but even just ensuring that they keep control of the screen here is already working decently well for Flash. Nice lockdown full screen. Wants to go in by the pizza cutter. Damn, wanted to challenge the forward dash, but Flash was a little faster. 100%. You say in bolt from full screen. Gets the L. No knockdown. Ooh. <laughs> final Flash again, not being the final move that hits. Oh no, he gets hit with the raw tag. In comes Vegito. Gonna throw him out of the corner? Yeah. Yeah. Just keep the lock down there. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Fake the, the cross up on Meaty with the Labco 21 in the back. We do get the pickup anyway here. Does flash. Yeah, I believe Lucky Star was holding up. That's why the 2M hit as they were landing. Here we go, Hell Zone. Yikes. Where was this flash the first game? This is Flash Yes. Flash Yes 47. Yes, Hellzone. 
Lucky Star. Okay, Spot. good timing Spot. on the guard cancel. Lucky Star, is, I imagine, wants to get Vegito out, try to get some of that blue life back, and indeed they do get the switch off the sassy kicks, but they're caught full screen. We don't get as much off of that as we might have liked. Yeah, at the moment, at that moment, they didn't have the bar to go for the uh, nine or pummel confirm, but they do get a hit regardless. Flash, yep, one one should be enough. Who are you gonna bring in? Twenty one or Mr. Back, Vegeta? Back to Blue Vegeta, trying to represent for the the character that they love. Vegito coming back in now for Lucky Star, fighting from a life deficit, but you know, uh, up a game, you've got plenty to work with, has a massive resource advantage too, finishing all that out, waiting for the right opportunity to call Lab Coat. There it was, playing some neutral now. Yo, trying to keep him out with the plasma. Nice, gets the low from the 2 0, and that's going to be another body for Vegeta to put down. Never mind, 21's coming in instead. Yeah, trying to squeeze out every bit of damage that they could, specifically for the meter. At any point there, you could have just gone for level one and killed, but mm -hmm. that's what that optimization comes from. We talked about it earlier in the pool. You yeah. want to play for stability, but like we're getting to the point a little bit later in the pool's waves where you start to see people that have optimized some more of that stuff. And it's like, yeah, I want all this meter. I'm going to need it for later. Flash looking very dominant. I think you're exactly right. Where was this flash in round one? Flash, yes. Flash, yes, is turned up. Is, is there any significance to that number 47? I don't know. The French players probably do. Okay. Uh, I'm not too sure. I Now you said it. I, I'm always intrigued to people's names. Uh, but the 47, I thought, ah, oh, you know, sometimes when you're, you know, getting an AOL account, sometimes you've got sure. a random you pick, number. You pick idea. a number. Yeah, you just pick a number. I'm pretty sure and safe to say that I don't think Flash is actually the age of 47. No, probably. I mean, maybe it was their favorite football player. But, yeah, true. Could be. Yeah. You never know. I do know that Flash has early sparked, I think, in every round so far now to keep the Blue Jita alive. It's working out okay for them right now, though, as they get this pick up right into the level three. They seem really comfortable just keeping the Blue Jita on point and trying to run the mix there. Finding the punish this time on the spark. Same situation, different outcome. 100%, like you said, same situation, different outcome because last time, I think they missed time to 5 H. This time it does connect. Lucky Stars is gonna have to count them as they have to block this Hell Zone mix. Oh, oh no! I like the attempt to come out. It's just that Flash obviously overcommitted. Okay, Lucky Star has to deal with this pressure. Oh, they had committed to an auto combo there, it looked like. I think it was a spot where it would have made a lot of sense to try to go for the 2H. Damn, finding the pickup on the overhead there. Flash on the back foot now as Lucky Star is able to get this hit. Uh, corners themselves, but I imagine they're not that beat up about it, although after that guard switch, okay, we're back to mid-screen. Oh, that was grimy. That was clean. Nice. Staircase down perfectly for Lucky Star. Gets the cross under. Cashing out on the damage. Wake up reflect by Flash. Risky stuff gets the vanish. Big bang. Oh. Wow, Lucky Star not surrendering an inch of space, covering all of it with those JLs from TN. Getting sliding knocked down. Yeah, we're not going to spend any bar there. Wanted for the cheeky uh, overhead, but we're not going to get it in that spot. Going for the super dash. It does catch out Flash, trying to play some zoning, and we get the pickup nice. with Vegito in the back. You should be able to kill Lab Code here. I really like that extension. And like we were saying earlier, when it comes to like, optimizing, uh, trying to utilize as many specials and normals as you can before you have to spend some meter, really smart. Yeah, I think I think it was a little obvious that Lucky Star was probably gonna try to do something to get Vegito out there. I kind of wish that Flash had tried to make the read for it and maybe keep it in mind. I mean, at least they, they ended up winning neutral as a result of all of it, but I think knowing that a tag was gonna come in that spot, you could have tried to be more mindful of it. Still smoked out by the Vegito assist. That's why we want him in the back. It's not just because he's gonna die, it's because he's gonna kill you. That assist does wonders for your neutral. Punishing the 2H attempt from Flash. Maybe thinking Lab Coat 21 will fall in it. Got the health to survive. Gets hit by the Donompa. Oh, ready with the 2H. Lucky Star gonna get a nice knockdown here on the Piccolo. I don't imagine we'll get much in the way of damage. Oh, we are still going for the Stomp. Yeah, the, oh wow, that did turn into a mix-up. I was about to say the no mix-up mix-up with that JL sneaking in there through the Vegito Key Blast. Yeah, that overhead was super low to the ground. Last minute IAD, like you said. Extremely hard to block. It's all down to Blue Vegeta. Can he get it done? 
There's not much health on two of the characters, right. so it's doable. This is definitely doable. You have some plus frames taking uh, taking their time a little bit. Other than TN, this is one touch for every character on Lucky Star's team. And I like that Flash is really taking his time, recognizing that he only really gets one shot at this. You can't mess it up. Has to use the Vanish there. Pick up with the Dewey. Don't quite get the Big Bang. Trying to lock him down. We get some plus frames. Keeping it layer one this time. No whiff punish on the 5M. Risky stuff. Three bars on Lucky side. None on Flash. So we can't even counter Vanish here. Has to play super mm. clean, but the hate, I think that's what we're going for. Oh, the oh. combo. Never oh mind. my god. Flash wanted for the whiff punish on the whiff sassy kicks. And in the same spot that I had just spoken to earlier mm -hmm. about the fact that Lucky Star was making this real habit of using EX sassy kicks and then just just holding tag, right? On hit, you get active switch. And if it whiffed or blocked, the tag was still coming. Yeah. Maximum commitment. And I think in that spot, Flash sort of tunnel visioned on, okay, I have to punish Vegito and kill him. And wasn't ready for that element of the game that had kept coming up and giving them problems through that uh, matchup. So unfortunately with that, uh, that was winner's side. So still gonna be in it down in the loser side, but 2-1 moving on there is Lucky Star. Yeah, and like you said, this is pool, so Flash is still in the tournament, yeah. just in lower bracket. Look. Lower bracket. Basement bracket. Loser's bracket. Basement bracket. Basement bracket. It doesn't sound as harsh. It doesn't sound as harsh. I've got to be nice to my, uh, yeah, I mean, even though the French Oh, oh this, isn't, this isn't to make everyone feel good. This is specifically for Look. your pride and your friend's pride. The French bully us in most games. <laughs> so I'm not the biggest fan or supporting the friends because they dominate in the EU, right? But okay. as I said, as a TO, as a commentator, Flash, I give him a little bit more respect. So, you know, for, Fair him, enough. for him, it's the basement bracket. Fair enough. Yeah. He's going in the basement bracket to find the losers. Yeah, you, you have know? to, you'll make your way up, you know, ever, some people make it out of the basement all the time. Right? Exactly. Unless it's a horror movie, most people yeah. that go into a basement eventually emerge True. from it. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like an origin story for all the great players we've had. There we are. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you make a killer killer run that you know it ends up super memorable maybe this could be flash's killer killer run we'll find out later as they are going to be playing through more of the bracket and then obviously we have a uh, top 48 uh, uh up to top 16 happening tomorrow yes with top 16 uh through the rest of the bracket all happening on sunday so you've got three days of dragon ball fighters action mm -hmm. if this is your game and if you're here watching i know this is your game we've got more players sitting down cry versus selly k unless that's selic selly selly i would have said selly k the double l is giving me selly vibes that's making me think it too yeah. hey you know what if i'm mispronouncing your name go ahead and tell me on twitter i'll keep it in mind yeah. don't be mean about it you don't got to do that. But I'm always happy to be educated. Same, same. We're going to go with, so we do Selly K Dash. Ooh. Oh, is the Dash part of the name? Maybe. Ooh. I, I, I know a little bit of KOF, and there's a character called K Dash. That's true. Maybe that's what it's uh, alluding to. Who knows? You know, I got to say, I, they say K Dash, but it's like an apostrophe. It is, and that's yeah. always bugged me. <laughs> Can't ask questions. No, yes. we're not allowed to ask questions. Look, fighting game lore is like if you start peeling back the layers, you're yeah. just kind of like, why, why is the fate of the world hinging on one martial arts tournament run by like a guy at the top of like a criminal organization that just runs a drug trafficking ring somewhere? And you're like, yeah, don't worry about it. Just maul people. Yeah. That's what we're all here for. Combat sports. That's that's the way to uh, to take over the world, apparently. Who knew? Not me. Yeah, uh, I mean, I guess most of the Mishimas, Geese Howard knew, yep. Bison knew. A lot of people knew. We were late to the we were late to the party. Too slow, but we know now. We know better for the new games that are coming out. But this has to be a button check. I know the, the team on the left looks standard. The team on the right, I'm like, that is pretty quirky. I'm down to see it's it. It's a quirky team, but I can see it being played. You know, I know, yeah. I know. Baby still gets some love. Yep. Uh, like, they're all characters that still get some love, and yeah. I think Broly in the back is something that can make sense to me. Uh, we'll have to see. I mean, the what we see from production is that this is listed as not a button check. This is listed as the real thing. Yep, they're going in. The intros have rocked, like we said. Look at, oh, we've got eyes. Everyone's looking. Peekaboo. I become you. He is him. He is Brad. That's you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> Wait, so I'm a baby? Uh, super baby. <laughs> I'll not take a, it. Not a regular baby. I'll take it. <laughs> I get those baby blues. Is that what happens? I'm yes. here for it. Can I have the unnerfed B assist, though? Oh, my gosh. Take me back, please. Take me back. The good old days. 
Wow. I, you know what? I'm that, here for it. Assert yes. your dominance. Yes, yes. Make sure your, uh, your starting gamut makes your opponent so scared to press anything at any moment. Cry is asserting the hell out of their dominance right now. Selic is not allowed to play the video game. Okay, finally finds a reflect. Has to active switch over, but not getting the rest of the chain combo there. Ooh. Love that for you. Really, really clean neutral jump there. Hit him with the monkey paw. Now he gets the stomp. Barrier up, pins him down to the ground, and the spark to get back to neutral. All right. Just wow. Apparently not wanting to play in range zero whatsoever there was Sally trying to play some zoning. Here's the problem. UI doesn't care about your key blasts. And something really cool that you don't see too often anymore, especially for neutral, Sally's using Gotenks B, which is the donut. Mm. Not the miracle punches. So that's really good for like locking people down and getting confirms off a of Broly assist. Uh, sorry, Broly. Plasma, or you know, you can just yeah. go forward with Broly into your face, bully people. You can drop a combo. Oh no, it gets the pickup. No, I spoke too soon. Cry must be weeping as that 5M did not afford them the chance to finish out that combo. Go for the EX command grab there. Was Selly to try to close that one out? Regular level one right into the baby. That's gonna be able to get the kill, and now baby has that Vegito assist in the back that they can call. That might come in handy. Oh, Plasma coming from the back. Gotta be careful. Big 2H. Nice confirm. Oh, well, you know, it was a nice I confirm. I think it, it dropped before that. I think where you said nice confirm, all of that's been real. I think the drop was something uh, about the fireballs at the start of it. Right, right, right. Ooh. Blocks. Gets behind him. Staggers. Cry. Good block on the cross up. And had to know I was waiting for the flip as well. So was Selly. They got the hit. We should have the damage to close this one out. Hand palms. Go tank. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh wow, nice. did it for no bar, bringing out Gotenks for the fight against Labco. Maybe wants for that matchup somehow. Maybe just wants to lock down the screen with ghosts. Oh my god, gets sniped out the air. Yep, snitching, just pointing at him. Drops the confirm, there's the donut. Seven bars, how are you gonna spend it here? I would think that you spend it. Wow, they're going to spend all of it. I'm here for it. Don't get get all the damage that you can. There's no sparking available here for Christ. They have to hold all this damage. You get the mix up after. What's it going to be? Mm. I said don't get grabbed. Oh, they can't hear us. I forgot. I forgot they can't hear us. Catching a metaphor, I guess. Yeah. Uh, they can't hear us. It's just joke or not it tapped onto my mental. Uh, and that's true, what was going true, true, true. on. But nobody else can hear us. Except the people at home. I hope Hopefully. you're enjoying this Dragon Ball Fighters action, everybody. Like you said earlier, we've got plenty, plenty more. This is just the beginning, the inception of the madness. Combo Breaker 2023, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Sully on the back foot. They were on the back foot at a little bit of uh, the start of the last round as well, but they did manage to turn that one around. What I like about Sully's team too is it's very clear that Sully's team is built around letting them play from like mid range out. You know, they, they were so comfortable playing that zoning game. Every care, the between Donut and between Broly Assist or Baby B, it gives them these big pickup opportunities on like near full screen situations. Okay. Okay. Ghost Oki? Oh, sorry. Okay, Dash. Okay, let's go. Yes, Mix. Oh, I think they missed the low, went for the mid. Final Michael Kick. Yeah. Cry doesn't want anything to do with that. Empty Vanish finds the JL, but we're not going to get much for it. Gets the pickup off the Vegito Assist. I was so sure that dropped. Vegito Assist actually stuns you for, like, an entire Toonami ad break. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Toonami. Seriously. Like, we might miss this character. I mean, Gotenks was doing a lot of damage at the beginning, but alas, Cry is getting rid of the kids. He was causing the problems, because when a Gotenks player can hit those confirms, you have to be worried. It's not about the meter build, it's about the set play they build off of it as well. All right. right. Oh, using the UIA this time, and in that spot, you were already on top of them, so you had to respect the assist. Selly did not. They're going to get caught out for it now. Cry has a fair bit of resources here. They're just going to go for the level three, get the knockdown here. They're not going to have the additional bar for uh, going into the corner, so it's just going to be, yeah, just keeping it safe. Sparking vanish there from Selly. The fireball gives Selly a pickup on the way back. Going to get two loot. 
more than likely. Oh no, we're gonna bring in the bully. Oh no! Whoop. Oh my gosh, fans are being pressed, Brad. That was, there was a lot of punishment there as Vegito had to call in the assists to catch the strays from Bully mm -hmm. so that Vegito could come and try to finish the job. Active switch back to the UI, getting the knockdown here. But he's selling in the corner. What's the mix gonna be? Stays high this time. Guard cancel to bring Baby back in. Spanish. Or if that had picked up. Yeah. I think that was definitely on the card. Super Dash behind. Hits this time. Ooh, should be able to get a body if they want it here. No, they absolutely can. It's just how far are they going to be able to press this? It's the same situation, please. If you're going to... Once you've dropped it the second time, it's time for the kiss method. Yeah. 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 I hope that doesn't come back to bite Deli K. Oh, it's looking pretty bleak for them right now. I mean, the UI's got pretty much no life. Rings in baby once again. There's a lot of blue health being recovered on Broly's side. Pepper him, pepper him with the plasma. That UIA doing nothing for him there, but unfortunately it seemed like Selly was still a little bit dissuaded. Okay. We're back to some neutral. And Selly seems really comfortable playing this type of a game. Like I had said, their assist just to sort of afford them this opportunity. We get the pickup, and that's the other thing too, is when Baby is on point, any 6H brings in the other character. So they just have full screen confirms. The problem is they don't have conclusions to those confirmations. That is being the biggest factor, I feel. Like I said, it's the, it's the conclusion. Wow, that hit so high up. And now it's only down to Baby Cry. Definitely stepped up this round. Ooh. You got these? Mid screen, please? We saw the go take stuff. Yeah. Right. How far are we going to push this? Oh, did we want for a reset specifically, or what was the choice there? Not respecting UIA, keeps getting smoked out by it. And Cry has the resources here. As long as they don't drop this combo, they should be able to get the kill. And indeed, they will. We're going one game apiece here for Cry versus Selly. Polar opposites. Match one and match two. Polar, polar opposites. Uh, the Gotenks was definitely doing a lot in the second match, but then when the Gotenks went, kind of the snowball effect has really kicked in. Uh, I was also bugging earlier. I think I said Gotenks, B assist. It's definitely A. Donuts A. I don't know why I forgot that. B's the punches. Loading back in here for game three to see who's going to be able to move on. I think what's wild is if Selly, for those drop, like I'd hate to highlight a drop combo as like a bigger deal, but the fact that we've seen the same drop in two different instances from Selly in what could have otherwise been like a pretty tight game uh, that they may well have won is definitely gonna give uh, me pause. I think that's something you need to evaluate. Thankfully, Selly gets the pick up this time. We've got Baby and we've demonstrated that we definitely have these combos. Z Broly seems to be the one that they are not necessarily equipped for. See, that route works with Gotenks. It just doesn't work with Broly apparently. But yeah, it's definitely a hype thing. I love the shot ca cancel. Kind of baited out the reflect there. Couldn't really capitalize. Donut just above 21's head. What? Oh my god, the anti-cursed Super Dash. I've never seen a character Super Dash and just ground themselves like that. <laughs> he knows he's in timeout. <laughs> yep. Nice. Gets a shot cancel. Donuts. Oh, I like that's actually really cute. That 2H. I wouldn't call it cute, but it's effective because it hit. But like you said before, the conclusion isn't really ending up in these combos. That should be enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get the third bar. We might kill for two. Yeah, we kill for two, get UI on point, so UI matchup against Baby, which is something that Cryad seems pretty comfortable with playing into this matchup. Let's see if the Goten going away again is gonna cause that snowboard effect. Oh my. Yeah. That's why Cry was comfortable with this character matchup. Mm -hmm. All making sense now. Oh, I love the chase saying, I know you're going to air take again, because I think selly has gone for that a lot. Good read Ooh. by Cry. Interesting choice. Moving in behind the Vegito assist to keep Selly locked down in the corner. We've got a nice pickup. I don't know that, uh, yeah, you know what, with Sparking healing. Oh, Sparking's about to run out, actually. Cry's probably going to be able to get this kill and remove uh, Selly's baby from contention. And indeed they do. Selly, one character left. Everything rests on their Z Brawly. And that's the character that I think we've seen 
the least uh, success from them with in this set so far. It seems like the one that is uh, the least developed from them. Yeah, you can definitely see Zelly really wants to just jump over, right? Or just feet off the ground, which makes perfect sense, especially against this character. You don't want to get hit on the ground like this, because it can always lead into big damage. Android 21's assist coming back. Probably won't need it. Yeah, we're sitting comfy. Labco 21 keeps Selly grounded. Vanish on Vanish action. That was a bold choice from Cry, but you're so far ahead, you can sort of afford to do this. Selly seems very afraid of hitting any kind of button. Finally, armors through right into the level three. Selly? Are you going to make this a moment? This is going to be one of those days. I will. I will lose this chair if that happens. But no, Labco21 wants to ensure that it doesn't. And hey, Cry throwing away the hopes and dreams of Selly K. Selly K dash. Selly K dashed out of the air by Fajio's command grab. Uh, and I think at the end really showed a a big part of Selly's game plan, which is up back in. Yes. And uh, yeah, Cry just, I think at the beginning was like, huh, they're doing this a lot, but I don't want to overcommit to stuff like that because doing those anti-air grabs does leave you right. very vulnerable. Uh, but as the set went on, it was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a hard read and it paid off. Yeah, and I mean, they had such a, a healthy lead there. All three characters still there. Most of them uh, basically full health. Uh, if there's a chance where you can try to make a harder read and be like, okay, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Like, that's a spot where you can sort of squeeze that out and, and try to experiment a little bit, especially if you're uh, noticing your opponent's defensive tendencies like you're highlighting where there was so much up back. Yeah, it, uh, it'd be like that sometimes. Obviously, like we said earlier, I believe those matches were... It's so far, everything... Round two. I don't I don't know. We, we could consult the bracket um, and, and see, because I know we did pull up the bracket, and I'm sure there's probably... Uh, I don't know if they have exclamation point bracket uh, set up right now, but I'm sure y'all can go and check. Uh, I imagine that people are doing their best to try to update from the floor. Uh, as much as they are able. But hey, you know what? Maybe we can uh, shake some trees and get some stuff updated because it does look as though it is time for another regularly scheduled ad break. So please keep it locked and loaded. Uh, check out the other stuff uh, that they want you guys to check out. I'm loving the skits that, that we've been seeing. I think that's been really fun this year. Uh, but we will be back with more Dragon Ball Fighters Pools action in just a short while. There's plenty more Combo Breaker 2023 action coming at you on the way. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. If you want to add to your Combo Breaker merch legacy collection, don't forget to head over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. Get yours before they run out. Last time on Dragon Ball Fighter Z here at Combo Breaker 2023, we told you we would be back with more matches. And more matches we have Gerald versus Dubs or Dub Z. Dubs. Has to be dub Z. Has to be dub Z. To be dub we Z. have to make up for lost time. We do. We you do. wanted to represent. I missed so many opportunities to say the correct pronunciation of that letter. Now, I'm going to destroy people's ears by overemphasizing Z. <laughs> it'll be fine. Yeah. No, no one can get that upset about it. Well, this is stream chat. <laughs> never say never. We'll see. If it gets too much, I will close stream chat and not care. So uh, that's 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 facts. But hey, here we are. We're all just having fun. I hope everyone's been enjoying this block. We only, I imagine, have a few more matches to mm -hmm. bring it to you guys as we round out through this particular block. Yes, we have Gerald versus Dubs, but there will be more Dragon Ball through the course of the weekend. So if you have enjoyed this, make sure you keep it locked and loaded. I think certainly tomorrow I know it's still on Juicy Game yes. Night. I think it's also on Juicy Game Night for Sunday. Could I'm not actually too sure. Uh, potentially. You guys will find out. Well, we know that. Uh, there's so many. There's tweet. so many schedule tweets. Uh, which, hey, to all you people that put the schedule tweets together with the the time zone conversions to make it easy for all of us viewers to be tuned in to whatever game we want to see at the majors uh, that we love to watch. Hey, thanks for being you. Actually doing God's work. Ab Absolutely. <laughs> Looks like uh, I, I have to imagine we're not going to have a button check for this because they were ready. We do see uh, so this is the first Android 18 for the block for us. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Blue Ku 18, Grohan. And then Gogeta, Cell, Janemba. Also the first Cell. Yes. 
I, there might have been one before our commentary slot. No, no I, I meant for our block. Yeah, for I, our I know block, there were 18s 100%. in the in the previous wave as well. Yeah, I, you know, I really like Cell. I think at the beginning it was easy to hate him because you saw him so often, but I think he was the gatekeeper. When you had a character better than Cell, that's when they were an issue. I think he was the fairest top tier character. I, I think that's fair. I think, I mean, when I played against him, I didn't think he was fair. I absolutely hated 5LL. Yeah. I thought that was a, I, at the time, I was like, this is the stupidest thing in the world. Unfortunately, Gerald drops that combo. Dub's getting a little bit of a minor dub there by their Blue Jita uh, being alive. Clipped by the 6M though. You got another chance and you blew it out of sight, out of mind. We're going to be able to finish this combo, I would think. Wow. wow. That lasted forever. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you said. It literally lasted an ever and a day. Like, okay, cool. I see you, grown hun. What a savage dragon rush, though. That was wild. It was a spot where Gerald is definitely like, all right, I'm going to have to respect this. I'm landing so late. Dubs used that opportunity expertly getting this level three now. What is the mix-up going to be? Oh, another DR. My guy is not teching. Oh, no, but he dropped the Dragon Rush combo. Dub Z, please. All right, you got to hold that clip by the overhead. Held it was not. Yeah. All right, Gerald, Okay. Relax. Gerald, relax. I know you don't like this character, Gohan. All right, level five, but clipped by the H. Perfect attack. Uh, but because of the meter penalty from using the EX, Dubs is actually not going to get the kill here, I don't think. Yeah, off that, even even with the switch to Janemba, it's not going to happen. But a one more touch here, and they find the touch evened up two characters apiece now. Cell still pretty healthy in the back. Yeah, the fadeaway JM. Hitting his mark, nice confirm. It was a little bit tricky with the blue twists hitting, but Gerald adapts it accordingly. I love the delay wake up. You have to do that against 18 just to be like, don't don't run that script for me. Don't run that. I'm not a bot. Don't run the script for me. Mix it up. Oh, we get the clip uh, on the air touch there, but nothing really comes of it. Tried to set out the heavy orb. It's tracking, but we're not getting as much out of that as we might like. Still in sparking, so the empty vanish punish on the 17 call. Rolling crush. I think 1-1 one, one kills. Oh, actually, probably not. So we just cha tech chase in the air and managed to find the 2L there. Gerald is a little bit hungry. I think that was a spot where you probably could have tried to, you know, wait out a little bit more. Mm. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, people have that tendency of like, all right, down tech, I want to hit buttons. 100%. People don't want to block. Hey, I don't blame you. Long way to travel to, uh, to hold a direction. Ooh, should have been holding direction that time. Actually tried to go for a Kamehameha wave, but a Super Dash connects just in time. Blue Koo, Pro Tag, power up, reflect, and go straight for the low block. Banish the same side, kind of mixed, right? Oh my god, that's a blue beat pickup that's doing a decent damage there. How far are we going to be able to press this? We do get punished on the bad vanish and Gerald on the back foot. We send out the heavy orb. We're going to get the pickup in the back. Has the extension off the LL. Ooh. Oh, that was tricky. Vanish on Vanish, tries to chase the air tick, rolling crush down to the ground. I love that. Yeah, that was so smart. Like, that was a spot where, you know, the tendency is you want to tech chase high and then just do the block string to block string them down to the ground and set up the mix up. It was a little bit too high. So it was like, all right, he's going to land and get frame advantage on this interaction. Using the H roll forced them to get down first and earned them the chance to win in that frame trap situation. Really sick stuff there. Dub Z taking the first game, one up to then. Gerald looked really strong though. At the yeah. start of the game, looked super strong. But yeah, the momentum from the two villains, So and Janemba, are bringing it back for Dub Z. Yeah, in fact, we really didn't see anything of Gogeta Blue in the last game here from Dubs either. Oh, what a big pickup. Janemba taking a little bit of damage in the back. With, luckily for Dubs, uh, Cell coming in, so we're not going to lose out on that blue life. You absolutely manifest destiny, because uh, yeah. Blue Goji is not going to do nothing in this match either. But it's okay. He wasn't needed before. Maybe he's just a battery. Uh, but not in the way that he builds meter by attacking. Maybe. Yes. Sacrificial. Yes. Sacrificial it, battery. Well, it's like stealing the life energy to turn it into key. <laughs> yeah. Well, name a more villainous thing, actually. That's a very Dragon Ball villainy thing to do. <laughs> it actually is. Oh, we. Okay, he's not going to kill this villain, but he's going to make it hurt. Gerald. I like that. I don't, I, 
can't believe I've never seen that. That was a really sick way to end that. That was really sick. We got the Destructo Disc loops. How far are we going to be able to press this? Four of them. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. That was a little greedy, but and we're going to get punished for it as the Janemba assist earns Dubs a little bit of space there. But Dubs drops the combo, smoked by the Grohan assist in the back. It, it seemed like they both had a case of combo Nisha. It's like they did a combo and just stood there. Yeah. Went, oh, uh, oh, we're not standing for that, though. No super dashing on me, even when I'm in the air. Janemba, he's on his own. He's got limit break, spark, and a bunch of meters. Let's see what he can do. All right, has to spin the Vanish to be able to get the mix-up. Goes for the cross-up. JL gets the touch. And they've still got the sparking available for them. So Dubs earning out that first character kill pretty uh, pretty comfortably, but still caught out by the Blue Coup dive kick. It has been giving Dubs a little bit of trouble to try to deal with that in the neutral. Tries to pit him down with the IAD. Misses. Lockdown. Oh, no! I think they, uh, they buffered in Super Dash. Yeah. But yeah, got the direction instead. The blocks. Ooh. Oh, empty vanish, but Gerald reacted with the super dash of his own. Are we going to go into level three? Yes, we are. We want the knockdown. Gerald looking good for this round. Ooh, empty vanish finds the 2H. Gerald was ready for that one. Going to get the knockdown. We're not going to have the damage to kill off of this, and the sparking healing is still coming in in the back, keeping it locked down. Wow, that was grimy, getting the standing low after the whiffed JM. And we are one game apiece. This is the Gerald I remember from uh, Bob's birthday bash. He, he's woke now. This is going to be a really sick glass game. It's hard to, it's hard to tell because when you've got that so much, so much momentum with Gohan and 18, it's hard to recognize your opponent's skill or for spectators to go like, oh, they just got steamrolled. But that's what those two characters do. Right. Now, this is the first time we've seen Dubs able to cook it all with this Gogeta Blue. A great JL to catch out the Super Dash. And now we have that lockdown. No, drops the combo. What a... Pin him down, goes for the spot this time. Dub wants to use oh. his Gogeta Blue. I but don't agree with all these vanishes coming out of Dubs. I feel like Dubs is just really hungry to try to keep Gerald locked down and finish the job. And we managed to do it, but the amount of meter that we've committed just to try to keep our hands on the wheel here, uh, I think is unfortunate. We do at least manage to get the kill on the Blue Coup. If it works, it works. 100%. Nice air to air, but. Nimbus is kind of scuffing that combo. Barrier. Ooh, that would have been a sick air to air. Doesn't want to get staircase to the ground. Wants to turn the momentum around. Oh, what a great DP from Dubs. Right into the knockdown. Just super dash into cell assist in the back, and we managed to clip with the low. Dubs waking up now, it looks like. Yeah, it's looking like TN. Third eye wide open to see everything. Extension brings out Janemba. We're gonna go for the beat. Oh, of course we are. Does go into the corner. The cross up does kill Gerald on their last character, a non-leveled adult Gohan. They got some bar available for them. They can level up on a touch when they need to, but this is a tall hill to climb. Nice pick up off of the full screen fireball. Only one level there. They don't want to commit too much. They know they need the bar to make something happen. Dubs gets clipped high, just posturing a little bit in the corner, unfortunately. And now, because of the level up, Gerald gets the better combo situation here. So able to cash out way more damage here into the... Yeah, this time they're going to level up way more. Now we're at five. Right. All great journeys. Even comes back. Start with one step. He's taking it. That's one character Ooh. down. Can he catch the cell, though? Like you said, the levels are there this time. Oh, well, you might have been able to 2-H there rather than vanish. I think you were going to land in time. Luckily, there's not tons of Nia on Dubs' side. So Gerald gets to fight one more time. Let's see. He needs to block this out. Oh, caught by the command grab after the charge 5-H. I think Gerald was worried about maybe roll or something. We get the side switch combo. But Dubs still dealing with meter deficits here. Clashes, but the 2L works out here for Dubs, who is going to be able to close that one out in a tight 2-1 finish. Congratulations to them. I imagine by this point, we're probably pretty late into the pools. So yeah. I assume that match probably sets them up to the semis a little bit later. Indeed, indeed. That was a back and forth, which we yeah. like to see, right? Definitely back and forth. Yeah, uh, I think 
the Gogeta Blue waking up was definitely the big adaptation there yeah. for Dubs. I think Dubs was on the back foot for the first two games, but I think the reality was they were basically playing two characters until game three. Uh, yeah, and really once were. Gogeta Blue was in the game, it made just a monumental difference. I mean, if, you, if it's a tight back and forth as a 3v2, mm -hmm. and then you find your third character, it's, it's going to swing even more uh, in your favor. We do have our next players sitting down. It's going to be KJ Pixel versus Scrub Daddy Lee. And I think we had looked at one of the brackets. Uh, so I believe uh, these guys were seeded in yes. this pool. So I yep. have to imagine this is probably a match to get out mm -hmm. on winner's side as well. Yep. Both of these players are really well known, even from my neck of the woods. Uh, Scrub Daddy and KJ Pixel. KJ, one of the, you know, big freezer uh, mainstays. So we're going to see some more more of them, which um, I, I like zoning. So I, I guess I like freezer because the archetype is kind of zony, even though zoning doesn't really win you games in Dragon Ball. It's a, it's a way of playing, but you don't kind of have that as your win condition. Right. It's, I think it's, if you zone, it sort of speaks to the pace that you play neutral. But, yeah. like, you still... You, no one is zoning as a means of like gradually pestering someone until they die. Exactly. And we've seen this This would then be the second Frieza team that we saw, and the other Frieza player that we saw today mm -hmm. also had a team that was built with, uh, I think, zoning in mind, and they did a really good job of making sure that they got the pickup off of all of these errant hits. So uh, what I think it comes down to is like the way zoning works in fighters is it's that you're staying full screen, and you still end up getting the hits. It's just like you're fighting from a different zip code. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, let's see, let's see what Scrub Daddy. Yeah, because I would also say Baby is quote unquote. This is a this zoner. this team <coughs> makes complete sense to me as like a zoning team. Yeah. Baby, Baby can zone, Janemba can zone. This this just makes sense. The button check in, nice. No, no, not for you. No, <laughs> not for you, not for you. Is that gonna be what I'm known for now? <laughs> The button check hater. Yeah, it could be worse things. There definitely are worse things. Look, I've. I'm just saying. I did. I wasn't campaigning for the good button check on the SRK forums back in the day for us to have it and not use it. True. True. I. That definitely was an era where people were like, oh yeah, improve this part of the game so we can be more efficient with it. Some games did it, and we're like, meh, we're, we're still gonna. Turns out we like the cadence of of having that minute for yep. the button check. But hey. You know, yeah. whatever. Uh, you know what I, would be better? I think they, we should just stop calling this a button check and call this uh, like a finger warm up. I think that's what more like that's what it more reminds me of. People just getting their fingers. You know what? That's warm. fair. Yeah, that's fair. I'll re I'll recontextualize it like that. Yeah. There oh, we are. Don't get it wrong. They call it a button check, so they are wrong. So next time when a player says, "No, no, no," I've checked my buttons. I just want to get my fingers warm. They can go. Okay. I'm here for that. Yeah. That's, yeah. That'll be the change we want to see in the world. We're going to actualize that reality. Finger warmies. Yeah, let's move. That's no, never mind. That, I take it all back. But that sounds like a better hashtag, no? Finger warmies. No. No. Hashtag finger warmies. No. Hashtag not gloves. There you go. <laughs> I think it's catchy. I... We'll, we'll talk about it later. I reckon I can convince you. This, we'll, we'll have a meeting. Yeah. We'll, we'll send it up the chain. We'll see. <laughs> I'll send it to the PM. Think of the merch, Brad. Think of the merch. Oh, you Think know what? You didn't tell me there'd be money. The, oh, anything we talk about must pertain money. Esports, remember? That's true. Esports. Finger warmies. Coming to a tournament near you. More than likely. No, it's, no it's, 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 it's already there. It's at the <laughs> tournament near you. You just you just have to start describing it like that. I do. Yeah. The, not I mean, not you, you, you like the viewer. You. Yes, yes. You guys basically regurgitate what I just said. And people will, be, people will get into it, 100%. All right, let's go. Potentially the last game we're going to get. Last two commentating, so hopefully. Actually, yeah. Yes. yes. Oh. So, yeah, th this block blew by, I got to tell you, but it has been a blast. And I'm sure this is going to be a killer one for us to end it off with. Jiren, Blue Ku, S. Broly versus Frieza, Baby, Janemba. You promised me zoning. I want to see it. Oh, he needs to get away from these brutes, though. Oh, my oh God. My, oh, my back. That hurt me. Mm hmm This character is a two-touch machine. 
Pixel, KJ, don't get hit. Overhead with nothing. Scrub Daddy Lee needed to leave a little bit of a wider gap to get the assists back, and it earned KJ Pixel the opportunity to slow this stuff down. Clipped by the JM at the very tip, but we're a little bit too far away. No whiff punish on the 2L there, and these, these projectile trades, like Esperly assist is like actually accidentally perfect mm -hmm. to deal with uh, the air key blasts from Frieza. It's, it is kind of like perfectly created because Jiren's S also beats grounded yeah. key blasts. So it's just like, oh, you're a zone, oh, cool. I'm going to stop you. But you cannot stop KJ with the combos. Not golden, by the way. This is just sparse. Ew! You're, you're dead. Todd is in the building. This will cool. Yeah, he is absolutely gone. Damn. And what's killer now is with Esproli assist being off the table, yeah. KJ Pixel can control that you know, top down diagonal direction with their zoning play in a way that they couldn't a moment ago. As long as they're far enough out that they don't have to worry about the blue coup dive kick catching them. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that's a big chunk of the screen real estate that he had occupied with the Brody assist and now it's gone. Uh, yeah. And a big oh, bunch of damage. I like Janemba. I thought maybe it would be Frieza level three so we could go back to zoning, but I like Janemba level three because we get better mix up now off of it. Stays same side, has to spark defensively there. Does scrub Daddy Lee in order to try to make something happen. That was almost a killer snipe, but KJ Pixel was so ready. Pick up with the baby B. Oh, the slash wasn't in range. Luku assist does connect. The 2 0 blocked in the air. Yeah, I thought they were going to go for some spark mix. Wow, he's just getting chased down by Big Gray. Brings in Blue Koo, seven bars. How much are we going to chuck on him? Yeah, level I three. imagine just level three. Yeah, that, that should be more than enough to get the situation that you want afterwards. Goes for Key Blast finds the Dragon Rush. KJ Pixel not teching. Scrub Daddy Lee should have the damage here to close this one out. EX Dive Kick to bring us back down to the ground. Into 1-1, one, one. we have Jiren back on point to try to contend with the baby Frieza shell. And like you had said, Jiren is decently equipped to try to deal with some of this zoning pressure. Oh, using the uh, Parasite body and just a simple stagger. Gets the hit, KJ. You see the Frieza combos, I can't see them dropping this. There we go. Right in level one, keeping Baby on point. A solo blue coup here for Scrub Daddy Lee. No spark, just three bars and a dream to try to keep this one going forward for themselves in order to try to make it out of this pool. Ooh, EX scoop from KJ Pixel. Really clean. I think I went to super there, unfortunate. But it's okay, still got, still got the momentum. Running into a freeze assist, got the mid-screen stuff. Oh, they do, KJ. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to go for the, the side switch level three, right? To give us the real mix up. That's exactly what we're going to do. So now what's the mix going to be? Stays same side. Scrub Daddy Lee gets scrubbed out. That's not a scrub thing. I actually think that's one of the sickest level three setups that is in this game personally. But hey, first game going to KJ Pixel. Now looking really dominant there, even with the ways that the kit of their team interacts maybe a little less favorably against the resources that are available there for Scrub Daddy Lee. But I think they just, they were able to navigate that. I think if you're, if you're still playing Frieza right now, you would better be very confident with that character and able to navigate around the different ways that your opponents could try to shut you down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Frieza, even though they did get uh, maybe they had ups and downs. I was about to say get in love during the patches, but they've had their ups and downs for sure. Uh, and like you said, when you have a player like KJ that's gone, I'm sticking with you through thick and thin, you have to be ready for all these kind of characters that counter your win condition. Uh, Broly, kind of newish, I guess, if you've been playing Freezer from day one, because obviously Freezer is from the base roster, right? right. Uh, but having those sections blocked off screen, especially when we have the introduction of uh, B and C assist, Oh, Crazy. Scrub Daddy Lee actually making a character change that I hadn't noticed, bringing Z Broly in instead of Blue Goku. Wants a little bit more uh, in terms of, you know, some projectile coverage maybe to try to deal with the zoning. Gets the nice start here with the Jiren, but I think the Jiren did work in the last game as well. That was not the problem for Scrub Daddy Lee. Two touch. That's what Jiren does. He feels so much meter, he does mad damage on his own. And there you go. The two Broly's and during Team Muscle Beach. Freezer's already out. Baby and Janemba. 
It's going to be really hard. And you know what? The Brody makes a lot of sense, right? If you're going to throw projectiles, I'll put yep. the barrier up. We do have the pick up here for KJ Pixel, whose baby was looking really strong in that last game. I have to imagine that they're going to be comfortable here. Are we going to get the... No, we're not going for the side switch mix up. We're going to go level one, level three, bring Janemba in and go for the mix up off of Janemba instead. Same side. Oh, utilizing the armor on the Broly. You don't see that that often outside of uh, uh, Larry or the Juju train, right? Nice pick up with the re-jump. Oh, yes. Hot boy summons, let's go. That little, what I always think for S Brawly level three during that phase makes me think of Disturbed. Oh, I can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a really cool touch to have that. It did make me go like, whoa, that is kind of freaky for a Dragon Ball uh, cutscene, but I like it. No, it's it's dope as hell. It's just the the way that his face gets uh, illuminated in shadow reminds yeah. me of the character that in like the disturbed artwork. We got the active switch here to bring Baby back in. Has to spark level one to scrub Daddy Lee, who gets a nice pickup off that air-to-air -air interaction now with the sparking. They're gonna get a fair bit of damage here on the baby for KJ Pixel. Oh, it's got the end jet. Continue that combo. I love it. Going for like the soft reset. Spends two bars to escape. Big two hate. A razor blow. True string. Vanish on vanish. Keeps him in the corner. Another razor blow. That was so close. That J.O. is really good for sniping super dashes as well. Like a smidge in too early from Scrub Daddy. Uh oh. oh. oh Love that. And the H fireball ends up coming back to give him the mix up after. Though Scrub Daddy Lee does manage to block it out, reflect it. Yo, I can see the player feed on the side. Oh, yeah. And Scrub Daddy Lee is nodding their head with every button press. Like, yeah, I feel this. I love it, man. You have to be your own biggest fan. You have to be. Oh! Nah, I'm, I'm Scrub Daddy Lee's biggest fan now. <laughs> Dash from full screen, EX command grab, let's go. This character is visceral, I love it. I love S. Broly. Yes! Yo, look at that, you see the vibes. Oh, you know what, there's probably music playing, now that I think about it. Oh, he's getting positive. But uh, he's, still, he's still feeling the vibes, like you said. He is going, I am sick nasty. It's like, I'm he him. did to me the first round. Look he's him. He is, the, yeah, he is him. Right, he we, is the daddy. KJ Pixel gets a start this time here. The difference between game one and game two is Frieza's ability to play, and that was still, you know, not an awful showing from KJ Pixel when Frieza was removed from the table. 2L from Scrub Daddy Lee gets the touch on Frieza now. A big pickup gets the side switch because of the Jiren uh, tool. Now, okay, Don't is KJ again. Pixel gonna be able to navigate this? Has to spark to try to keep stuff loaded. I respect it. He went, he had flashbacks. He went, uh, last time, I got hit twice, I lost my Frieza. Uh, let's not let that happen again. Yeah, I mean, we saw in game one, when KJ Pixel got a touch with Sparking, a character died. So I have had, had every expectation that that was gonna be the case here. Character lead for KJ Pixel once again, with the double Brawly shell in the back now, clipped out by the Jiren assist. I'm, I'm sorry, the Janemba assist. Hand palms, nice block, scrub daddy playing patient. Barrier up. Oh no, but he ran out as soon as he had to uh, block the Super Dash barrier again. But yeah, KJ completely erasing the usefulness of the barrier by just Super Dash and going, well, now your barrier's gone. These projectiles are going to hit you. Right, it's like a, it's a committal choice that's being made, but it's working out for them because Scrub Daddy Lee has not been in the position to do anything to blow them up. Now we've got the loops in the corner here for KJ Pixel, gonna earn some bar, get some damage. We wanted for the side switch level three there, I think. We didn't get it, but we found the touch anyway. Sparking going to finish now for Scrub Daddy Lee. Baby. 1-3, right into the level three from Janemba for the side switch mix. What's it gonna be? You guys on left or right? Uh, right. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm doing the Scrub Daddy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sick nasty too. You and Scrub Daddy had shared a brain cell for a yep. second. <laughs> Whoa, just super. I mean, they've got three characters. Why not? KJ willing to take risks with the lead they have. And there is a lot of meter on Scrub Daddy's side, though. A lot of meter. This is tough, though. I mean, it's such a large life deficit to come back from. KJ Pixel has two great assists to keep the screen locked down. And even after saying all of that, it doesn't matter anymore because I have every expectation that Scrub Daddy Lee is going to die. Yep, 1-1 one, one to close that out. Uh, is that, that does, in fact, connect. I, there was the late cancel, and I was like, no, please, don't make a liar out of me. <laughs> Yeah. 
I like that. I like the applause. Yeah, like, I mean, those two first games were uh, brutal. I think brutal yeah. were. They were going in. I feel the last game, it, it must be, well, I'm assuming it's the same in this game, but it's always kind of been the archetype or the reality of when you're chasing a zona, yeah. you get fatigued, you get oh, frustrated, absolutely. you get annoyed. I think that's kind of what happened. As soon as the barrier stuff didn't really work, because yeah. KJ Pixel said, come on, man. Like, I'm a zona. I know all the counters, so right. I have to have a plan for it. He saw the barrier. He went, all right, projectile, super dash. Yeah. And if you're not going to uh, contest my super dash, then your barrier is not going to work for you. Well, with that, I mean, uh, KJ Pixel able to move on. And again, I, I believe that was probably to get out of the pool in winners. And that does mark the end of this block. Say it ain't so. I'm sorry, but we will be leaving you. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, I believe that's it for it today because I think there's yes. more pools tomorrow. But we will be switching over to MK11 here on Juicy Game Night. So if you're an MK fan, make sure you stick around because I'm sure there's going to be some fantastic action over there. C4, this has been a pleasure. Pleasure's all mine, man. It's great to be here. Great to see you in person. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Dragon Ball as well. Dragon One Ball. One of my favorite games to commentate. So. It's It'll always have a special place in my heart. Yeah, yeah. I love this game, uh, and I'm glad that it's still seeing the support that it gets. Absolutely. And hey, thanks everybody who's been watching and continuing to support the game. Keep it locked and loaded for more Combo Breaker 2023 coming at you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still here, man? You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Yeah, we've been looking for you everywhere. They'll handle the ads. Let's go see the rest of Chicago. Y'all make sure to head over to the Combo Breaker shop right now and check out all the amazing merch from shirts to hats and more in store. Get it today.